Hello and welcome back, everybody, to Valkyria Chronicles 4. This is part 9 of a Let's Play series. If you haven't seen the previous installments, they're here on this page. Uh, we are now going to return back to the Empire today uh, and attack a supply train station we stumbled upon that is basically supporting the entire Galleon Royal effort on the part of the Empire. That said, uh, when we left off last time, we had uh, a little bit of a, how should we say it, kind of uh, some setbacks because our gear was suboptimal. So I want to take a quick moment to go into headquarters and take a look at our gear. Uh, we're at the point of the game where most of our um, characters have access to some pretty powerful weapons, uh, but there are some min-maxing uh, issues we need to deal with so uh, first thing we're gonna do is outfit our mainline troops with um, the same gear so we know what we're looking at all right so this is just okay that's a squad setup we want the actual yeah, so there's Len fields so the two kind of guns we have are that and the Galleon 3 and the Linfield R1. So the R1 actually is flat out just a better gun it looks like. So we can load our guys up with uh, Linfield R1s. It looks like that's the right play. And all these guys are using Galleon 3s which is correct. So Raz currently is using a Robinson M91R. This gives him slightly better uh, aim. He looks a D plus versus a D. Um, and the M94 would do more damage, but I kind of like the better aim. And that's kind of the theme we're going to be using throughout this kind of refit is to make sure that we have the right, uh, that we have the right gear. This is Robinson 94 just flat out better. We're gonna do that. Put on all qualified units and then go back to Raz and uh, Zyga and get them back these weapons. Okay, perfect. So that's all of them. Uh, let's look at Lawrence, the land car. So the this is the basic unit, the M2 EQ4. This land car is flat out better though. So we're going to want to. Uh, make sure that the the two people that we use most of the time are Lauren McLeod here and the other one tends to be Brittany Scarlett so I want to make sure that those two specifically are using that land car part of it is because that range is slightly more and quite frankly that range really matters because there are many cases where we need to be approaching a tank and it's going to have a machine gun a uh, coaxial machine gun that's just going to take us out otherwise um, okay so looking at Aller Rebecca has an R1. Do we have any more R1s we can do? Actually, Aller's not even being on our team right now. Yeah, both both uh, Rebecca and Eileen uh, have the R1, which is what we needed them to do. Anything else we can give her? Nope. And then we'll take a look at uh, Kai Shulin. So, the Wasp number four is the that and the GSR-3 are the two different uh, service rifles we can use for that class. And neither of them are as good as this Brondel M101 XR. Um, it's by far a better weapon. So we're going to stick with that for, for Kai. How about Aladdin though? Aladdin's using a Wasp. Okay, so that's the same thing we did too. We basically took, we have a Wasp and then Nage also has a Wasp. Good. That's great. Okay, this is where we really need to do this though, because Riley and Alpha both like are using, yeah, they're just not using the right thing. So there are three different um, basic mortars that we have unlimited access to. Um, so we're gonna wanna have, yeah, these are all just bad. Like they're all bad. Okay, so we're gonna wanna give her the Elias MA2. That's gonna make her very good versus armor. Uh, and then we're going to give Alpha 
the Sanders M4, which she has. Okay, good. So she's going to be good versus basic troops. Uh, oh, I gotta, man, I almost want to give her a Hartman, though, instead. Yeah, we're going to give her the Hartman instead. So what that's going to do is... Oh, that's going to make her less accurate, though. Man, that's, that's tough. That's really tough because... Um, we can give her this, which makes her super, super strong versus uh, personnel or, or basic land uh, infantry. But it makes her aim garbage, but she has more range. Or we can go for better aim, but her personnel goes down significantly and she gets better armor that doesn't really matter and her range goes down. I'm going to give her the Hartman for now. We're going to see what happens. I think that's the right play here. Okay, so we got that taken care of. Um, let's take a look at Tank Partially Fast. I believe that both the Hoffman and the Cactus are both in good shape. These are all the same. Alright, so those are all equipped. We can change its camo. That's so funny. And then there's a decal too, right? Yeah. So we have a, a Ranger emblem on it right now. We can replace that. Oh, actually, it actually gives stats. Wow, okay. So apparently this actually does matter. I thought before it was just a cosmetic, but that's super cool. Um... HP, so squad mascot just makes it better HP. Uh, Miller Company uh, gives us extra accuracy. And the Learner's Permit gives us 10 extra defense. I think, well, okay, so the, the flat out just categorical upgrade would be the Miller Company because it gives us additional 30 resistance and has the same accuracy bonus. I think that's the play. We're going to do that for now because I don't want to sit there and do all the, the math in my head to figure out the other work. And this camo is the same and the parts should be the same. Yeah. So those are both correct. Okay, so we've taken care of all that. Uh, now we need to uh, get in and take a look at this next mission. So we have two choices. The one choice is going to be, well, first off, actually, we can check mess hall real fast, make sure nothing new's popped up. I don't believe it has, actually. Yeah, I guess I'm alone. So that means that he, there's nothing else that he can buy uh, right now. Um, however, training field-wise, we should be able to... Um, we should be able to train our troops a bit more. So for those of you just joining us, this is Valkyria Chronicles 4. It came up this last week. Uh, it is the newest installment of Valkyria Chronicles, which is a strategy and tactical role-playing game by Sega. Um, we currently are pretty far into the game. Uh, we're going to be attacking a supply depot uh, that the Empire has set up to lead the Galleon War Conflict, which is the main stage for the first Valkyria Chronicles. So we're seeing kind of an interesting tie-in developing here between the two games. Uh, I'm not sure yet whether or not we're going to run into... Uh, the, the crew from the first game, but if we do, I definitely will point them out. Might be a small cameo. Um, in the meantime, we are going through and, and leveling up our troops uh, because they'll give them better stats and we'll. Okay, that's all we can do right now, right? Yeah, so we're going to do these two Grenadier and Scout for now. Um, we're going to level these guys up and then we're going to head back into the front. So the scout's got a new potential, and the grandeur gained a level. Perfect. Let's go over to uh, the tank parts in R&D and see if we can purchase that last. I think there was one more upgrade for the cactus that we couldn't quite afford before this last skirmish. And so if we can take care of that now, um, that'll give us, uh, you know, just two really strong armored units to take into battle. So, develop tank parts. We're gonna look at cactus, and I think it's under treads. Am I right? It's extra carrier. That was it. And I think it may ask me to plug that thing in. Nope. Yes, it is. It's gonna take extra carrier. It's gonna hang out right here. Perfect. Oh, there's the other stuff I can get too. I just noticed that radiator upgrade gives us additional resistance.
Alright, and then we can install that right here. Yeah, we haven't run into like an area thing yet that's a problem. I'm assuming we will eventually. Um, but for now, everything's fitting just fine. Okay, so this means that now we can probably just move right into that next uh, mission. Our troops are ready and uh, march in the snow, supply depot ambush. We don't need to do the other skirmish right now. Our guys are leveled just fine. We'll, we'll end up doing it later though, maybe at the end of this uh, session, uh, if we have time. Okay. So our goal is simple, to capture the enemy base camp, but the supply depot has a tricky layout with tracks running through, mind the map. It doesn't help that our visibility is shot after dark. Don't let them sneak up on us. So we're gonna have low visibility in this map, great. And without winter gear, we need to watch our body heat while in critical condition. That came up last time. Effectively, what that means is that uh, if our characters get knocked out, we literally have to use an order of that turn to pull them out, otherwise they'll die. As if that wasn't enough, I'm willing to bet they've got an armored car, rail car nearby. They say rail cars pack as much firepower as a tank. Let's try not to test that theory. Okay, so we have rail guns. Victory is if the enemy base camp is captured, and failure is if the enemy occupies my base camp, all allied infantry fall in action, or 20 turns pass. All right, let us position our troops. So we'll pick up Dan in that one slot as usual. Uh, out of the gate, I'm gonna have um, uh, Kai hang out up here because she's gonna need to get a vantage point out of the gate. We're gonna get uh, Eileen um, we'll grab the rest of these guys here. Let's put Curtis also on point here. All right, so what we're going to do now is we still need uh, Raz. And I think it's going to be basically the same load as we had last mission. Pretty close to it. Because, yeah, we're going to need... Let's put Riley down here. Alpha down here. And we're going to grab... Um, what's her name? Actually, I think the, the best play is going to be to, to yeah have the double uh, double engineers. We have one man. This yeah, this is going to be a weird, interesting map because part of me wants to put a second lancer out there because we're going to deal with tanks. Uh, part of me also wants to stick out a second uh, engineer because they can repair things more efficiently. Um, and also someone wants to put a second sniper because a second sniper would be useful. So, okay, we're definitely dealing with a, a limited resources situation in this map. Um, I think given the way the layout is and how slow it's going to be, I think the one sniper is good enough because we're not going to be able to get a high enough vantage point, I don't think, to actually be able to, to do much more than that. I think having a second Lancer, prop, yeah, we're going to need to do a second Lancer. The reason being is that if we move them together, they should be able to take out any tank because of the uh, the reinforcement fire ability. So if you get two Lancers together, what happens is is that the other one will, uh, if it's standing next to you, will fire at the same time so you get double the shots. So that's what we're going to want to do is set ourselves up to where those two Lancers can fire together in tandem always. All right. So here we go. Uh, we're going to be moving quickly as usual. Uh, we want to get a good score. We can get a lot of C's and D's just because it's our first playthrough of this game. And the missions are hard. <laughs> That's just a flat out fact. So uh, we're, our first movement is going to be getting us up here to this reinforcement point. Um, but the map is correct. It's really kind of a hodgepodge of space. So it looks like our movement is going to come us to here. And then we're going to move around the corner to here. Come on back down again to here and then in the in the map up here somewhere yeah we're gonna have to use ladders and stuff it's gonna be kind of a mess so let's uh let's just go go to it i think the uh, the first thing that we're gonna want to do probably is take our scout and run our scout out because we got to figure out kind of what the heck we're looking at here okay there we go so we got a trooper there I'm going to fire at this because I'm pretty sure that means we're going to kill whatever next to it. Yep, which are two soldiers. <laughs> that was kind of easy mode. Oh, great. All 
Alright, so we could have done it differently, apparently. That's fine. So, where's our troops? Okay, we're just gonna keep running. Let's see what we got going here. And here's the railgun, right? Yep. There it is. Oh, it's locked behind him. That's fun. Okay. All right, that's interesting. Wow. Okay, that just happened. Okay, we're going to stand up. All right, we're getting shot at. Let's see kind of what's going on here. You can't get killed, so. Um, so we have a lot of troops. What we're gonna do is, this is what we're gonna do. I'm going to use a grenade and kill this guy right here. We're gonna do that and it's gonna be the end of this song and dance. All right, so he's dead. Now Curtis is just going to fall over. Yep. And we're gonna need to send out help and spend a turn doing that, which is okay. Um, Railroad switch. All right, so there's over there are rail switches over there. Um, we're gonna need to do an order, which is a medic request on Curtis and get him out of here. It is job though. He killed three guys in one turn. Like it wasn't like he did nothing. So that's that's good. We're gonna need to reinforce for sure later though and bring bring more troops in because it's gonna take the entire team to win this. Um so this tank is Oh, uh, this tank car is just hanging out right here. There's a bunch of stuff on it. Um So I think the next play is going to be driving the tank. There's a rail line above us. Interesting. Shock trooper. Sure, why not? All right. Do some damage to him. Yeah, Randy, it's super bad news. <laughs> it really, really is bad news. So we got a rail car here that's dropping troops off. Uh, we lost the element of surprise. We blew up a Ragnar crate, which I didn't realize was going to happen. So now we have to basically come from behind to try to beat this thing out. However, they just gave us a kind of a Deus Ex moment. You can hit these. Uh, was the glowing uh, symbol to the right of the screen or a rail switch? And so hopefully, if we hit those, they won't come back again. So that's kind of the trick we're trying to work on right now: is uh, hitting that rail switch and moving on. Um, Let's see. All right. So the next play is going to be taking Alpha here. And she's going to have to... She's going to have to kind of run up here and then fire over that wall to, um, to hit the troops on the other side. Okay. Yeah, they're firing through there at her. That's cute. I mean, she can see them, though. That's cool. Perfect. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> um... So she's done. All right. So we have one more uh, scout here that we need to deal with. Um, 
I think, can we, can we see that scout through that, that kind of crack there? I'm thinking no, we're gonna need to like run to the right. So we're gonna need to like run to the right and then fire at it. Oh, man, that's just gonna suck. Let's use Raz. I think that Raz might be a good play here. Can we get all the way over there? Please tell me we can. No. Almost, almost there. Not quite. Yeah, she's really, really strong. That's the thing that's kind of amazing about her is that she is, uh, there's two of them actually. I have two, I have Alpha here that just fire and she has anti-personnel or anti-infantry. And the other one, Riley, is anti-tank. So they work really well together. And um, so, you know, I, I, I equip them specifically with two different types because it tends to work well in tandem. Um, I guess the play is to drive Cactus up instead. So Cactus is driving an APC, but it has a good machine gun on it and usually can take out troops pretty easily if I... Uh... Yeah, it's fine. Whatever. So we're just going to take this guy out with a machine gun. Get to his head. Okay, he takes three shots. Let's go. Good. So we'll leave, we'll leave Cactus here. He should be fine. Um, we got five more uh, commands we can give away. Okay, one of these commands is going to have to be... Well, we'll pick up Riley next. And what she can do is... She can fire at the... At that shock trooper that's way the hell away from me. Or we can just fire at these turrets. We have a mortar cannon and a Gatling. Pair of Gatling turrets and a mortar cannon. That is so stupid. Okay, we're going to hit the mortar cannon. That's fine. Of course, she's going to have her, her personality trait pop out, which sucks. But we took out the mortar cannon in one shot. That's good. In fact, since she's so strong versus them, I might just turn around and have her fire a couple more times and just take out those other train cars just to end this issue. Yeah, right? I thought you'd like that, Randy. I mean, a lot. Uh, the uh, the mortar crew, man. Wrecking crew. That's what we got to do. I'm gonna, I, I am going to do that. I'm going to run Riley a second time, and we're just going to have her fire, because then I can use my uh, my engineer to uh, restock her uh, her mortar rounds. See, now that galling turret is going to take more hits. I knew something. I knew it was too good to be true. Something was going to go wrong. Um, so what we'll do next then to kind of support this is we're going to run up our, uh, our Lancers, which have effectively Panzerfaust. Um, so is that it? Yeah, I think we can hit it right here. If we go all the way up, yep, there it is. All right, so we'll hit this, uh, yeah. So what we'll do is, this is kind of a fun trick, and I'm going to actually, well, I'm going to, man, I don't want to do that. I'm going to, I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to assume, and assuming is always dumb, but we're going to assume anyway, um, that only one more hit's necessary. If I, if I would take two or more hits, what I would do instead is uh, team them up and gang them up. I was talking about it earlier before the mission started, uh, that these more, uh, these uh, heavy lancers, if they're standing in a group of two or more, they'll all fire at the same time if, if they're within range when, they, when a fire command is issued. So uh, that could be really useful. But we also need to move forward quickly. So I'm assuming it's going to take one more shot, and it looks like it will. So this guy's going to fire, and it did take it out. Perfect. Because um, otherwise, we'd want to have them standing together to get that double shot off. Okay, so now last guy that we can run this turn, I'm pretty sure, right, is going to be uh, Eileen. So what Eileen's going to do, she's going to run through and, and physically touch every single character she can. Because every time she does that, she does this. Okay, boom. They're all getting restocked with, with ammo, is what this is doing. 
So we're gonna then run her to the right because we need to get her all the way over. Okay, who's firing at her right now? Nobody, so I don't know what's going on. Um. Yeah, those those uh, RPG barrages are intense. Okay, so it's their turn now. They're gonna start throwing up reinforcements pretty heavily. So the train's gonna take off. It's pretty pretty screwed up. We blew it out. They have nine things they can do this turn. That's exciting. We gotta take that other point in front of us, like this turn. Otherwise, we're gonna have we have way too, way too, way too many guys uh, coming after us. So there's a lance, enemy lancer. I'm gonna have to take my sniper out and have her snipe in this turn. She's fun. Kai is is exceptionally fun to play with because she can like take out several troops in one turn, <laughs> usually. Got another troop running down here. I'm assuming he has a stormtrooper, or uh, I can call them stormtroopers. They effectively are. They have uh, submachine guns and they are heavily armored. Oh, do not kill her, please. Okay. That sucks. She hopefully won't die. I'm gonna have to. I'm going to have to uh, use somebody else because I try to use her before killing that sniper. Their sniper just hit me. All right, who else is running around? They're gonna use like all their command points. That's intense. Usually they they leave several on the table and just don't do anything. So them actually using all their command points is is pretty interesting here. Okay, so next thing we're gonna need to do is uh, first, well, two things. One, we're gonna need to clear out uh, troops that are nearby because uh, most units in this game have Overwatch. So if you don't clear them out and start running around, they're just gonna start firing you and taking pot shots and getting free hits over and over again, and taking out half your guys in the process. So we gotta be very careful. And the tanks, tank, tank, car is showing up again. Here's another tank char. Yeah, we got it. We have to close that thing up. Because otherwise... Yeah, the wise are just going to keep on bringing tanks. Or, or uh, tank uh, engines every turn. Okay. So... We need... To use Alpha here. And we'll have her hit... Um, I need to find out what's going on over here. So that's that. Okay. Hit this guy. Hope we can hit both. Yes. No, the other one got hit but didn't quite die. Okay. That's okay. I want to leave her here for now. Like, I don't need her to do anything else. Because they need to keep on firing so we can take these things out. Um... Cactus needs to effectively just turn around and hit this guy. Yeah, this guy should be killed because otherwise we can't do anything until he's dead. Um. It's kind of funny. I just don't even want to move. <laughs> it's like until we, until I'm guaranteed that we've taken care of these guys, it doesn't matter. Um, so Eileen healed herself a little bit. She's gonna need to run over to here, and then oh my gosh, that's so bad. Yeah, jeez, oh, I did not realize there was a guy just standing there. That's right, good. So she can stand up now. Man, that was dumb. 
So now what this is, is like bullet time max pain mode. You can't die while doing this, but you will immediately die at the end of, uh, of this process. She's going to activate this to fix the problem, then she's going to throw a grenade and kill the scout, and then she'll fall over and I'll have to use an order to evacuate her. Same thing happened at the end of this match with uh, Curtis. Okay, so now she's going to turn around, and I actually might be able to just do this instead and fire at the guy in the head and get him out of here, and that's probably what's going to happen, right? Yep, so here we go. Watch this. Yep, he's dead. And now she falls over. Yep. So it's kind of a cool thing. If you look at that, it's kind of an interesting way to play. Um, I'm going to need to now do that order, that evacuation order again. Which sucks, but this is this is okay. Uh, we're doing this specifically because usually you have a couple turns to take care of it, but because of the frostbite and the fact that you do not have... Um, don't have winter gear, uh, the game has decided to give us one... Uh, one turn to save guys otherwise they they're permanently like fire emblem style dead so <laughs> we have to be we have to be really careful about that i don't want to lose any guys here so now the next move is going to be to run i'm going to run raz up yes how's it's going to go i'm going to run raz up and he's going to have to go all the way up here check us out Okay, so his evasion's up. Good. We need to get him all the way over to here. Yep. Take take this take the spot. Get him to watch this. I'll show you here. And get him down. Oh, not close enough. Okay. Well, lucky for us, we got two things we can do. One, we can do another healing evacuation order, which is fine. Um We did it this turn already, so we need to... Okay, we gotta just run up there and deal with it. Okay, well first off, we can take the... We can... Okay, we can do two things. One, we can take Riley and deal with this. We'll have her deal with the mortar, the mortar turret first. Yeah. So this time it only did, did like one and actually didn't like one shot it. Interesting. So I'm working and did not have that happen this time. Okay, so what do we do exactly? I think we grab Kai in the meantime, get her up to the front. I did that. We can drive with the thing is we can drive our tanks up. So I think the play is gonna be take cactus and yeah, we'll do this. We're going to take cactus, kill this stupid lancer. There we go. Okay, he's dead now. Um also the commanding officer, nice. And then we need to save Raz. And now we have a troop standing there, so the difference is going to be that we can actually... We, we can't actually be taken out. And I also now can do this, and I can now get my reserves in play. So what I'm going to do instead is uh, pick up... First off, we'll buy Rebecca. Let's get Rebecca in play. And then we need to pick up... Curtis. And then we're going to need to check this out. What we'll do is we'll grab Kai a second time and have her run around the corner. That's what we're going to do. We'll have Kai run around the corner. And then here we go. We perfect spot. Right? <sighs> Dumb. Makes sense. I was kind of being stupid with that, but sometimes you can literally just hit uh, hit guys over a wall. I'm oh, sorry. That's the end of a turn. It's okay. So that tank's going to take off. 
it should take off here in a second. Yeah. But now it's not going to come back again because we just flipped that switch. You saw that there that was overwatch fire and what that does is yeah you see they uh that um tactus just turned around and just kept shooting which is good so having a unit like that sitting on a command point is really useful because they'll try to come in and take it and you can just be like nope that coaxial machine gun is just gonna make short work of you just happened so they fired and hit their own person okay that was Riley and Alpha firing so we, we took out some other troops in the process trying to get to us that's funny all right Okay, we got another scout running up. Yep, and we're gonna machine gun him. Okay. Another tank's coming in, but it's gonna be turned around, right? Yep, they got turned. They just flat out missed. That's good, I don't feel that garbage anymore. So now my troops can finally just get into play, because those first two gold turns, we were really, really hamstrung. All right, so first thing that we can do is have Cactus. Um, this is kind of weird. Like, we can't move any farther with our tanks, right? I don't think we can move any farther with our tanks past that. So we're going to move our guy up this way. That's cool. Cactus can take care of these, this sniper here, or scout, rather. So a new train that's going to pop up and cause problems. Excellent. That's also a tank. Oh man, that sucks. Okay. So this is a new train up here in front. And they have two tanks. The medium tank here and a light tank here. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's grab Riley. Because if done correctly, she should be able to fire far enough to attack that light tank and not even let it get close to us. move her towards where she needs to be actually to keep to you advancing but all right let's go light tank yeah. problem is our lancers are going to take a bit to get up there so we can try it can first have Kai go. Oh, let's, let's have Kai go first. We can take out that scout at least. I'm not excited about it, but we can at least hit that scout from up here. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good. Man, I keep on just looking like an idiot here. Okay, well at least Kai can, yeah, stand up. That's fine. We'll have her go up there and hit that. She's going to be gone for a turn, then I can bring her back in again. It's not the big end of the world here. Yeah. Check this out.
I like how they keep on saying light tank over and over again. And it's not. It's not a light tank at all. There we go. Scout. Let's go. Got him. Alright. So she's down now. We're going to lose another command point. We're going to have to bring... Um, So we'll use the medic request to evacuate her. I've never had to use this many times in a mission so far, but it is what it is. So that said, we can absolutely come back and put Raz back in the field. Let's go do that off the bat here. Um, we have Cactus City here right now. Uh, in a position that's not good. Um, unfortunately, so this is what's dumb. We gotta, we are gonna have to like take out this tank and then run west here, because the other um, switch to deal with that that train is way up there in the corner. So that's gonna be kind of a fun junket. Let's bring our guys up here. Yeah, it's just gonna take a couple things. I drew Cactus too far forward, so I did, which is a dumb move, but go figure. So where, who's shooting at us? Like, I, the sniper's up there, but I don't know how they can have a uh, line of sight to us right now. Turrets, mortar cannons. Try hitting the mortar cannons and do any damage. Nope. This does not have enough punching power. Uh, it's okay though. I mean, that's not what her she's actually supposed to be doing anyway. So we have two more movement points left. Let's grab Cactus and get him out of here. I mean, because right now he's just standing up here. He's just going to get shot at is all he's going to do. Come on. Back up. And then back up. Thank you. And then we'll grab the Hoffman and move forward. Apparently those gates don't exist. That's cool. So we'll bring Raz back this next turn. Turn after we can grab uh, Kai. So that train's not going to pull away and another train's going to show up. What we need to do is get uh, Rebecca over there.
So we're waiting for the turn to finish. Um, once that's done, then we can continue advancing. Yeah, we can hit them with mortar fire, and our machine gun is just going to totally take them out, yeah. That's one thing that we have advantage of right now, is our position's strong, our defensive position is. It's just we can't advance very well. Yeah, that's a sniper. back in play. Let's grab Curtis. Um, can see if we can actually throw a grenade. If we can, that'd be good. Can we throw a grenade far enough? No. It's just too far, man. Can we hit him now? Okay, good. Perfect. Hit him. Got him. Awesome. Okay, so we took care of that. That actually was an officer, too. Cool. Um, so they're not there anymore. Which is good. There's nowhere else I can really hide, though. What's the problem? So I don't want my guy to be, like... So what is down there? We have two tanks, right? So both tanks are facing the wrong way, which actually is a good thing because much like the first game, if you can hit the uh, hit the tank radiator, that means you can one shot a tank. Here we go. There's the tank right there. Shots two to kill. Let's go. There it is. Tank got blown out. So. She's done. We can now grab Laurent and do the same thing to this other tank, hopefully. It's a bit far away, though. We might have to go two turns. But either way, it's going to be um, much better than it was this last turn with us trying to... Yeah, he's totally facing away from us. That's so stupid. Okay. Both tanks are done. That was, that was easy. So we can see their sniper who's going to keep firing at us. Um, we really, man, we really need to. Uh, I want to run uh, Curtis this way because I think if we can get over here and hit that switch, we're going to be in so much better shape, honestly. Like, I don't want to do that. You don't have to basically focus on that. Well, that's cool. Try this. Oh my gosh, I totally got it. That is awesome. Totally, totally shot that guy. I didn't think I could. Scouts are a weird class. Like, you, you, they hit really, really hard against personnel if they aim correctly, but they don't have the scope like snipers do. So you have to just be really good or lucky at uh, pointing out the right situation, I, I guess, is the way to put it. So this thing's sitting over here right now. 
would really like to take that position. Let's grab Rebecca. She's not going to drag me, right? Yeah. That conservation ability fires off like literally every other turn, so having her complain about not wanting to use Ragnate is nothing new. So we're gonna run her as far as we can, and then we're gonna have her go a second time and hopefully get where we want her to go. Because she went really far if you look at that. That was actually a really good move. Because if we can get that train out of the way, then we're pretty much done. It's the rest of it's gonna be really good. Is there a guy here? I was say there shouldn't be anybody up here. Unless they're gonna another change is gonna pull up for no reason. Yep. Go figure. Another train. Awesome. Take a look at the map and see what we got we're dealing with right now. Nope, that's correct. We just need to run and take care of this stupid thing. Come on, please. Oh, you are so dead. Okay. That engineer's out. Can literally be next turn we can do it i don't like that but that's going to be reality of the matter no yeah we can do it let's just go come on let's just finish this up please oh my gosh are you for real right now <laughs> that's frustrating okay well we can't quite make it um we have two more ap to work with i think the correct play is going to be to get our uh our mortar teams closer up to be able to handle this. Okay, so Galling turret. Who's lucky sights? That's weird. Who's this guy? Apparently some sort of tank ace is hanging out over there. That I didn't know about. Yeah. It's, it's, there's always like named characters that do appear. Like sometimes they're like snipers. We had a sniper last mission that was a, a named sniper. So apparently that's the thing. Um, let's grab the Hoffin and let's drive it up. Well, we're not going to be able to because we're blocked in by our own stuff. Cool. Can we do it? Is it going to work? Nope. We're just going to have to hang out for now. Can we get fire at? Hmm. Uh, okay. It's their turn now. Um, we did take out some troops, but they got a lot of stuff running around right now. So since we didn't hit that switch, it means that our tanks are going to, yep, they're going to pull right back into position again. Which does not help me.
taking the turn, running around. And they're riding him pretty close. Yes. Scout. Okay. That sucks so bad. Like, ugh. That is irritating. Yep. Drive the thing up and proceed to start shooting at me. Okay, what can we do? Um, I'll fucking do something here. Let's clear this scout for now. We don't want the, yeah. They have such ridiculously wrong range. I just, man. That is frustrating. So we can't even use any of these troops right now. We have to literally just sit here and do nothing. Effectively for the rest of this turn. Which means we can pull a bunch of reinforcements in, but it is another turn we just get to sit around and wait. Okay, so she did that. That's great. Yeah, this other... Yeah, I thought... So I thought we got... They have uh, such a strong commanding presence everywhere they are, so... We've got to be super careful where we're going. Let's grab the rest of our troops we lost here. Uh, we need Kai. And we need Eileen. I'm afraid to even... Even move these guys. The second I move them, they're gonna get shot at. Um... Took out one of them. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just drive over here and take this stupid point. Like, I mean, I can see you and be like, "Oh man, I can't do this right now," or I could just take it. So we're gonna drive our APC up there and take the point because that's what the smart idea is.
So let's unload. Let's deploy Raz. Okay, we took the flag, so we can start reinforcing from this point, which is good. And the next thing we can do is just stand here and take out this guy. Sega. Then we can drive the tank up. That's good. Finally, we can get this tank going. The next turn, we can grab the rest of the guys that are missing. Missed completely. That's funny. Who else can we bring over here? Bring Nage, I guess. Side because they're going to train some city. Wish there was a switch we could throw. Should be able to shoot them if they come within range. Okay, Rash will turn around and. Yeah. So that was going to happen. Interesting. Going back and forth forever, it feels like. Kai back. Right, that's right, Eileen.
How do we not get shot at? That'd be cool. down so the problem is it's gonna go back and forth forever at this rate because we're gonna be we're gonna be in a situation where um, we're gonna want to uh, to move and we're basically stuck Um, no, Riley. This mortar cannon. Let's take a look at the mortar cannon. Yeah. But if I understand correctly, that all that's going to happen is it's going to drive through the tunnel, come back out, completely healed. So, we'll see what happens, but... shot that nice see that there that was that double double tanker thing I was telling you about or tank tank uh, tank buster lancers can hit twice Okay, what else can we still do? Um, run Kai a second time. Our troops where they need to be. Okay. So we have two more left. I guess we can just move Riley up. That's what we can do. Okay. 
so more cannon is now out. That's a little bit rough. Anyway, though, we've taken this uh, second point, it looks like. Okay, so now they pulled to this position. So, we're nearing the, we're in the second half of this mission here. We got some difficult terrain to overcome. Uh, we've survived the terrible, like, train rail car gun thing uh, pretty well, given the circumstances. It's not perfect by any measure. I mean, we definitely lost several troops uh, back to back to just the crazy range of those machine guns, mortars, and everything else those things we're loaded with. We've hit both switches, so the north train and the southern train no longer bother us. It's just the central train we got to keep on dealing with for the rest of the mission. So they're taking the last couple couple uh, orders for their turn. Okay, here we go. What's he doing? Yeah, I was gonna say at some point that guy's gonna get shot. Eleven, eleven uh, command points. So let's run. We got a guy over here just screwing around. So let's uh, let's run Zyga in. See how Zyga's doing. There's a guy like right in front of him. So that's what's kind of bothering me here is that we can't take our, our tanks or anything further. We have to use only infantry here. Which I guess makes sense, but it's still it's not necessarily something that I'm excited about. Yeah, yeah, I am getting there, finally. Um, but it's definitely taking some work, that's for sure. Kind of weaving our way through this map.
All right, so let's let's grab uh, let's grab Raz. Have our stormtroopers here and run them through. We have Riley here. Where's Alpha? Well, I have to, I have to res her, don't I? This wild rush is full too. That's, yeah, that's what happened. Is that we were like, let's, you know, fill our guys up. We need more people. And then I completely forgot that you eventually do max out your troops. And so we can't bring her back even though she's recovered until somebody else dies. She's the end of the world, but it also doesn't mean that it's necessarily, you know, a good thing. Try firing there. Let's see if anybody's there. Okay, what do we still have to work with here? Leave me here. Scrap Kai. Also, the vehicles being here helps too, because they don't have anything else that that round at least. I'll leave Eileen with. Um, See if it uh, is in better shape. Okay, we'll repair it, even though it doesn't need repairing. Yeah, that turns weird. So yeah, I mean, we're we're definitely making progress, uh, kind of winding our way through this kind of Byzantine labyrinth. Um, the one advantage we have is that it looks like we're, we're on the tail end. We've taken three, we have three of the locations, and we're pouring into the fourth right now, and I don't know what they're going to do to stop us. <laughs> Defense boost, some healing request, healing boost, explosives boost. You know, all these are okay. They're not worth it though, right now. We gotta keep our troops moving. Over here, we're gonna pull through again. I think both of their guns are now gonna be active again, which is unfortunate. Or not, they're just gonna go back and forth over and over again. Interesting. set up like that really helped us because it just saves us turns. Hmm. 
Yep, here we go again. This guy's also dead. <laughs> Oh, that guy's gonna quite make it. Tried to fire that machine gun and couldn't hit his target. I got up and take a look. Okay. Again, that ramp is nice and wide, but we can't get there with tanks. So we're going to run Riley up then through and what I usually do, which is stay close to Try a second time. Okay. There's a second guy up there, huh? Oh, that's fun. Scared of that sniper. Wow. Alright, so let's take this now. Scouts out. We have eyes up here now, though. See what else is up here. Well, that's it. So I'm gonna have her run a second time, and then she should be able to capture this flag. big issue because you have that tank issue going on. Okay, I'm going to try to get her where she needs to be because we're going to need Back in shape.
or a nasier and one shot this guy. Their turn now. Okay. The matter that train's jacked up anyway, as it is. That's kind of turning into, we gotta keep a couple guys behind so I can just take them out. Uh, which I'm gonna do. I mean, there's no reason to leave it up there. But. Hopefully she doesn't get shot up. That would be really bad. Good. That's what I wanted. Thank you for the auto crouch. run somebody up there, it's not a problem. Let's run Curtis up there. Can shoot at me. Well, I guess the Gatling gun isn't completely dead, huh? So we're gonna run her up a little bit further. As far as she'll go. Shock Trooper still alive. Who would have thunk it?
So let's get the rest of these troops where they need to be. Because uh, right now they're all scattered about. And we can continue to take these, these uh, enemy reinforcements trickling in. Because if we have that cover fire down, most of them will get shot up and taken out immediately before anything happens. Good, we're taking both of these Lancers because, as I said before, we've already identified a tank that is being run by Tank Ace uh, that is uh, down in this last section. Okay, so we're going to keep pushing forward. Let's do this. Um... Running, 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 running. Okay. All right, so they're all taken care of. We got this here. And further up to help you out. Or I'm going to go the back over here because I want to get that dumb Gatling turret out of the way because right now it's just shooting indiscriminately my guys and I don't need any more of that. all taken care of. Um, give this anti-tank power boost. Okay. So we've done that. We still have one more one more command for this turn. I'm going to take uh, Kai here and put her up because there could also be a really nasty infantry unit on the other side that we don't know about. So just once you advance, I don't think we can come back. So... As at first, oh, that explains a lot. thinking we need an age up here or, or Kai but we're all right all right what can we see down here there's just uh, a bunch of question marks running around that always makes me feel good okay our Lancer needs to advance Lancer all the way to the bridge. I don't think so. Or the ladder, rather.
is that guy down here doing something? I want to make sure all these guys are set up and ready to go, because when it's their turn, it can get really dumb really fast. So let's, yeah, perfect. Let's get over here to this. Uh... No, no. Great. So here we go. Let me take out this tank at least. All right, so we're gonna take out this light tank, and if we get that out of the way, and then we also that that they like said the tag that tank ace driver we got to deal with too. And we can deal with both of those, and that should be game. But um, I want to first see if we can. As you can see, we weren't close enough to initiate that double tank tap, but we don't get it every time. Now it's gonna double shots, yep. Right, so that's taken care of. second time we get her down there. Okay. Take a turn. Let's see what's next. All right, that's it, I think. I think we're basically there. We have that last tank that we need to take out, but uh, I'm gonna try the Hoffman up a little bit and see if we can actually like shoot that other tank from here. Because if we can, that's cool. Nope, we can't because it's stupid. Well, maybe. up on that. up there, Chief. Alright. So we're 
gonna need to take out that. Uh... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run. Yeah, we'll run Zyg up there. Perfect. Let's grab this over here and deal with it. Okay. I was gonna screw around with that, but I'm just, I was like, whatever. Okay, we complete the operation. Fantastic. We did it. How do we do? Yeah, D again. <laughs> it's okay. Alright, we got some stuff. Another galleon rifle. Alright. That's cool. I'm worried though. I think something's gonna happen. I mean, this just seems too too clean cut. <laughs> Wind off the sea. I did make it. Called it. <laughs> it's all frozen. by tank platoon.
Brutal. She is mad. Is that tank again? It's those guys. Battleship. Holy shit! Cannon fire! All tanks got Whoa. Cutting through the ice. That's cool. Alright, so, um, we completed that mission. Looks like we're out of the woods, or the, the snow at least for now. And now we've been moved into an interlude story to kind of explain the Kai-Lena connection. Which you've been following along with me since the beginning, you realize that the current Kai isn't the original Kai. And people keep on calling uh, the current Kai-Lena, and it seems like she's actually the little sister of the original Kai that was with Squad E. So... At this point, I think we're going to uh, call it here. I'm going to head over to headquarters again just to do a little bit of equipment check. And then we will return tomorrow night and kind of see what this, this story leads to. And we can get some more backstory on Kai, one of our main characters. All right. So we got a couple pieces of equipment that were interesting uh, for that last fight. Always do that over and over again. So those don't matter. Just take a look around real quick here and see if there's anything else in Paul. Yeah, I mean, they don't. These weapons we keep picking up are just they don't do a whole lot. Same thing there too. with. 
we can do instead is uh, go to mess hall, see if anything pops up out of here. Okay, there's a no. And then we can go in the R&D facility. See if anything's been developed on this end. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. All three of those already. Yeah. To the tank parts and see if anything else has popped up as new. Don't believe that anything's going to, but. Yeah. All that also is the same as it was before. Go to the training field instead here. Get the last of these troops uh, leveled up to match. go with the uh, battle potential check here. Alright. So we unlock that new potential. That we can do. Some statistics if we wanted to. So here we go. So far, all of our things we've done, we had some A's that were good. Um, yeah, early missions are really good, and then we got into fighting actually the Empire, and it went kind of down uh, downhill from there. A lot of it has to do with turns. I mean, that's really what it comes down to is if it takes a bunch of turns, they just really kind of nukes you. So we got some, some metals here as we went along here. We have some gaps though, that's for sure. all this uh, news as well. Interesting. So these are just different uh, different fill-ins. All these weapons you can look at too, and the personnel lets you look at all the characters as well. All right. So maybe at the end of the game we'll go through all that stuff, but uh, not now. Um. Okay. So I think with that, we will uh, call it a night. Thank you all for joining me uh, for this part nine of Valkyria Chronicles 4. Uh, we're definitely on, I think, the downward slope in the game. Uh, but I could be completely wrong. Like I said, I keep on just looking at the equipment and how we're kind of typing, topping out in all of our equipment uh, upgrades and such. And that seems to portend that the game is, is kind of slow starting to wrap up. Either way, though, we're going to play it to the end. So definitely join me next night, uh, tomorrow night. Uh, for uh, part 10 when we're going to kind of find out about uh, the other Kai or what exactly is the relationship between Lena or Kai currently and the original Kai that started out uh, in that kind of prologue adventure uh, with Squatty. In the meantime, you all have a good night.